I know there must be a lot of things in the air uh, with me and you. I know you're the last person I talk to before I uh, well, killed Well, Afton. But um, we can talk about that. I'm not going to hurt you. That's what I'm afraid of. That I'm going to hurt you? Yes. Can I sit down? I think it's best if you stay where you are. Okay. You know, it's... It's traumatizing when you see somebody die in front of you. It It isn't anything like you're already in the hospital and they're just lying dead on the hospital bed. It's... I saw you kill someone. And I don't think I can forget that. And... I've developed trust issues on you now. And I never wanted that. And now I have to come into this place filled with anxiety, thinking that you're going to do something. And I'm just trying to do my job. But after that, it's kind of hard to. And no matter how many times the company asked me to come and fix things, repair things, check on the animatronics, I'm scared to do that. And I don't want to be. I want things to be normal. I just want us to hang out, have fun, do what we did before this entire mess happened. Yeah. And I know things can't go back to, back that way, but if you're truly, if this is the only time that this is ever going to happen, which I hope it will be, then, okay, but for now, it's kind of hard to just be within two feet of you yeah I um, I have nothing else to say to that it seems perfectly valid I'm I can't imagine the fear that comes with that since your entire job is supposed to be fixing us and you've trained most of your well, life to do that in school yeah so um, I know I'm not I know I'm not here sometimes I know hopefully that helps a little bit and I hope we can talk about it more me too I guess <laughs> you told me life would be better without Afton in it I did Something of the sort. I'm probably not directly quoting you. But remember when we talked? Yeah. I do. In fact, I thought it was very adamant. I don't know what you would have done in my position. I don't know what any of you guys would have done. But uh, I am sorry. and that Well, that's about it. <clears throat> Where is Carson? Jake's right outside. And I'm pretty sure that he's terrified of us already. And I think if he finds out what you did, that's not going to help things. So we can either be honest to him and say you killed the two puppets. Or we can lie to him which I don't think we should do. <sighs> I'll be there with you. Come on. Just don't go up to him. I don't even know how to do this. Neither do I. Well, I guess someone has to be responsible. Jake. Yeah. You remember a while back, I don't know if you were exactly here around this time, but Carson used to have two puppets on his hands. Yeah, I saw that in the blueprints for Carson. 
I wondered why they weren't there for a while, but I just stopped caring. What about it? Well, uh, I used to repair the animatronics here before you came along, and I removed them and put Carson's new hands on him. Carson, uh -huh. Carson always claimed that the puppets were harassing him and were f fighting. Um, mm. Recently, the puppets came out of the wall and uh, things didn't go too well. Well, how do you mean? They were very aggressive towards Carson, and they tried to get on his arms again in a forceful manner. And Carson, out of fear, killed both of them. I just wanted to tell you that because... Uh, I don't think it'd be too right to lie to you after everything. I've already talked to Carson about it. I don't know what to really do. This is exactly why I was too scared to come here. And now your actions are inflicting on others. I didn't cause Carson to kill those puppets. I know you didn't, but when you killed Afton, Carson thought, oh, he killed someone out of anger and fear, maybe I should do the same. You're just like him. No, I, I can't do this. I'm 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 just gonna go into the repair room for a bit. You stay over there. One more person. Come on. Mangle, are you in there? I don't even know if they are. Hope they are. Where are they? Guess they could be on the roof. Just like me. What does that even mean? <sighs> they usually come up here when they're uh, too overwhelmed. So, <clears throat> yeah. Hey. Yeah. I know it may be a bad time, but it's definitely something that needs to be talked about. Um. Yeah. Do you want to talk about this? You're free to say anything you want up here. Jake's terrified of all of us. That includes you. Um, I told him what Carson did to the two puppets. He killed both of them, by the way. Not just the one in front of you. Bon Bon came out earlier today and did the same thing. Now, while I don't know who those puppets were, it was obvious that they were real souls. Those are puppets, not animatronics. Now, I don't know if there's any good that comes from our souls releasing out of these bodies. But I do know that's not how we should take care of things. I'm sorry that you had to see that. And all that you've been seeing is some mangled mess. I don't know how you feel about any of it. Honestly, haven't really talked to you uh, ever since the, whatever happened uh, with Michael. So I don't even know how you feel about any of it. I know it's pretty traumatizing. Sorry for all of that. And I'm sorry that you had to witness it all. 
in such a bad time. I'm glad Carson's alive, of course, and I would feel like I would do that for anyone here, not just us. I'd have done it for Lexi, I would have done it for you, I would have done it for Jake if the collar was around his neck. Come on, Carson. Why did you have to kill him? I was just scared. Didn't want that happening again. Carson, no one's gonna hurt you. I just don't want it happening again, Freddy. Listen, as far as our souls go when we're in these things, I, I'm assuming that whatever they were in, they're released now. So, I know that's not a silver lining, but, uh, Maybe it's something. I'm not trying to justify your actions, and I think everyone's going to be more than upset. Because they feel like we're killers, Carson. And right now, all we've been doing is acting like them. I get why Jake's upset. I did something wrong, and because of that, it's affected the way you've been thinking, and what Michael has done has definitely warped your mind. Maybe it's warped all of ours. I need to talk to Jake. Okay. Stay up there with Mangle if you want. I don't know if she wants us around, but uh, at least you won't be alone. Okay. Ready? Yes, Carson. I'm sorry. It's okay. I know you didn't mean to kill the puppets. I know you're just scared. I know you've almost died, been electrocuted, and have probably felt your own spirit slipping away somewhere else. Just try to know that no one inside these walls who have come in or come out, besides Afton, has never tried to do us any harm. And if we start acting like killers, we're gonna be... Not even that we'd be scrapped, but it's more important than that. If we do that, we're just like him. We're not like him. Okay. I'll talk to you later. Okay. <laughs>